Dear friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will solve one Perlman RL circuit. It is like this: a coil of inductance 15 H, 15 Henry, and resistance 10 ohm is connected across a 100 volt direct current supply. Calculate the energy supplied to the coil from the mains in the first five seconds. The coil B disconnected from the mains after five seconds. 5 seconds and immediately short circuited determine the energy recovered as heat. So, for solving this problem we draw the following circuit. This is your 10 ohm resistance and inductance is 15 Henry. This is connected to 100 volt supply. So, we have to find out the energy supply to this coil in first 5 seconds. So, energy supplied you can say d e it will be v i d t time d t v is the voltage and i is the current this is our R L circuit. So, this current is given by I equal to V upon R 1 minus E to power minus L T. Plugging in or putting in this given values we get 100 divided by R is 10 1 minus E to power minus R by L. R is 10 L is 15 T right or we can write this current is 10 minus 2 by 3 T. So, this is the current. Now, energy supplied in d t second will be given by V is 100 and this is 10 1 minus e to the power minus d t energy supplied in 10 or 5 seconds will be 0 to 5 t t Now, integrating it we get 1000 this is t this is plus t and 0 to 5 right putting these values we get this is 5 plus 10 by 3 and we get this as minus 3 by 2 solving this we get the energy stored in 5 seconds at 3553.5 joule. So, this much energy will be supplied by the source in first 5 seconds and second part is that how much energy will be recovered as heat. See whatever energy is stored at that moment instant will be recovered as heat on short circuiting the supply. So, E is half L I square I at T is equal to 5 with 10 1 minus e power minus 10 by 3 equal to 9.64 so energy stored will be 
in the tenth will be half L is fifteen into nine point six four three two six square equal to this becomes six ninety seven point four joules. So this much will be the energy which will be converted into heat. So dear friend, this is how we can solve this problem quite easily. And this is answer to part A and this is answer to part B. So dear friends, thank you very much. Like and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel.